Hey guys, it's Edgar. We're gonna be checking, or welcome to my wrong intro once again. How many times do I do this? All the time. Uh, welcome to part two of my first listen for Taehyung's 2X, the fifth mini album. Part one included Melt Away, Burning Down, and Nightmare. This includes All For Nothing and Fabulous. Um, really excited to finish out this mini album. Um, so far the sound, it sounds like very, very Taehyung, her heartbreak music. It's for the girlies. Um, it's for the girls and the gays. Um, but yeah, so, but I'm really, really loving it um, so far. It's it's a lot more Western pop sounding than I feel like maybe a whole lot more of her previous stuff But it is everything is really really good. So well, um, so well so far um, And I'm really really liking it doing color code readers for this one if there's any mistakes with the lyrics or translations Please don't kill the messenger. I don't make these um, But yeah, so yeah so far really loving their album It is SM 2023 is SM is in their bag year and I feel like it's not talked about enough because every uh, single one of their solo artist releases and group releases like all the albums fantastic really really fantastic and you know Taeyeon is obviously no exception to that her discography is really really good very diverse very uh, heartbreaking um, but again it's for the girlies um, so yeah but um, yeah it just it's very kind of reminds me of how they craft like um, Dio's mini album how they craft um, like all, like keys. Well, I think I like Dio's because Dio's isn't very like upbeat. This was also a lot more slower. But you can look at any album this year from SM Entertainment, and every every B side is really good. Red Velvet, Espa, NCT, um, you know how to solo, um, Key, yeah, girl, pff, Shiny, girl. There's so much. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're so truly sick. Now that it's like December and I have to start thinking about my end of the year list, I'm kind of running through and I'm just like, what was the best of this year? Uh, which hopefully it'll come out um, not in March. Um, my end of the year list that I do, my top 20 K-pop um, songs and my top 20 K-pop music videos. Oh, those are always a nightmare to um, <laughs> I'll make because I'm like, no, I loved everything. Um, but anyways, enough rambling on let's get into the final two b-sides over here also final album thoughts are going to be at the end obviously but yes all for nothing sounds tragic sounds heartbreaking sounds like Taeyeon. so you know what it let go ballad i mean it's Taeyeon. we gotta got a ballad maybe Again, she comes back with bars that hurt my hand. I gave you my soul. Ooh. Oh, she hit him. She's, instead of like tugging on the heartstrings of my heart, she's ripping them out. My eyes are wide right, ooh. Oh, that, my, I feel it in my soul. Again, why again? She does a heartbreak so well. She does a tragic so well. I don't know. If it's been a long time since I've had a Taeyeon song. Is it like this deeply in my soul? You know what I mean? It was probably I and me. <laughs> Oh, 
마주쳐 지운 엔딩 Wow, fighting back tears on the hell. Um, yeah, I mean, again, they're just this song. I feel like the lyrics are like what I always feel like Taeyeon songs are about. Am I talking about my hands? I don't know. Um, but just sort of like this song, I feel like is what Taeyeon does like so so well, and it's like I'm like this. This is like what I feel like is the epitome of her, the um, heartbreak of it, the lyrics of it, how sort of just like, whoa, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's, it's, it's what Taeyeon does. I mean, I don't know what to, I don't know else to like say it or explain it, but I feel like if I had to give an example of like, oh, what's like my favorite type of Taeyeon stuff, I might be all for nothing. That right there, that is kind of essentially what I feel like a lot of tan concepts sort of go for, especially the heartbreaking ones. I'm like, it's just this without all like the fluffiness, you know what I mean? Um, but I, I, I like that one. That one is gonna make me cry every time I listen to it. It's just, it's just one of those. There's just something that the lyrics were just so, who wrote this one? Um, we're so just like, again, if the other songs on the album are like, instead of like, uh, tickling the right parts of the brain. It's tugging at my heartstrings. She ripped one. She literally ripped a nerve out of my heart from my body. You know what I mean? And there is a lot of times in like relationships when you feel like you give your all to somebody and then it ends up being for essentially nothing. So she just speaks nothing but facts and truth and bars. Tayon help wrote this. Ooh, no one. And Mike Robinson, who we got, Sarah Troy, Wangyu Bin, Thomas Daniel. Well, no wonder it hit me so hard. I was saying, participating in writing in this one. Ah! Um, but yeah, I mean, again, she's for the heartbroken girly. She's for um, the tragedy. She's for she's just for the girls. You know, she she definitely hits that sort of lane um, very very well. Because I think in general, when you think of K-pop, you think of the the bubblegum pop. You think of the colors. You think of pink. You think of Twice. You think of all that other stuff. But again, which Taeyeon can do, she can do it, and she does it very well. But then there's this. There's this that will speak to your soul, take it, take a hold of it, wrap it around, and rip it out of your body. And you know what I mean? Because it's just like, I don't even know I was feeling that way. I don't even know I was about feelings like that. But Tayan brought it out. Um, so yes, next song, Fabulous. I wonder what, I mean, where do you go after all for nothing? You know what I mean? I mean, I, I don't think the album should end on that. Because if I got to walk away from that being the last song I hear on the album... I'm gonna have a very sad day. So next song is called Fabulous. I have no idea what to expect. Is it gonna be upbeat? Is it gonna be cute? That'd be wild, but um, you know, <laughs> you never know what to expect. But um, yeah, we have reached the low, the bottom of everything that also hurt my hand. Um, but yes, you know, would it let go? Tell him his man. Tell him. They say not. Nah, we turn it up though. <laughs> Thank you for not leaving me like that. And a full English song? She does have a, a few. Tell him. Tell him, Slayer. They start, it's like, not every single, as some artist has like an English song, especially this year, but, again, she does have English ones. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. I am her fan. Producer credits once again, I'm checking.
Tell him. Tell him. I'm trying to like find up like a list of Taya's English stuff, but I can't find like a list of them. It's fine, whatever. But yeah, no, that was kind of surprising. Like I wasn't expecting like an English one um, on there for sure. I know she does have English songs because I know B sides and covers and everything, you know, like that, of course. But. Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting that at all, but I think this song was needed. I think this was needed at the end of an album. It is kind of just like, whoa, in terms of the sound of the album itself. But after Into the Deep Pit of the Abyss, we got for All For Nothing. Yeah, I needed, I needed to come up with an album. Could not have ended that way because I would have walked around today so, so sad. So, but I like Fabulous. I like the confidence. You can look at it as your glow up after a breakup if you want to, but yes, we love the confidence. We love the sound. We love the Taeyeon. Um, yes, work of art, masterpiece. Tell them Slayin'. Tell them Slayin', snap ASMR. Um, but I really liked it. Yeah, no, that was like definitely needed, definitely necessary. And I feel like th for the sound of it, it does sound very Taeyeon. Um, I feel like at the end of the album is really, really nicely. Cause I mean, again, 2X, all the previous um, five songs on the album from 2X up until All For Nothing, you know, it's kind of within just like a certain type of sound. So um, kind of if you were to put this one first and then kind of go down, I feel like the energy goes from here to here and just, plummets into the earth um but if you're kind of just like if you're kind of just like here with the energy then you get um melt it away and then i i damn it i closed spotify that had the track list um hang on hang on hang on hang on hang on give me a minute give me a second um okay so we get we're, we're kind of like here with 2x then we kind of go here with melt away then we kind of go burn it down nightmare all for nothing and then we go up to fabulous so um i think the um top down listen is really really great i mean it's like it's you know after you get done crying and then you just start getting like litty at your room at 3 a.m you know what i mean that's exactly what the album is um uh, but yeah but i think the album is fantastic you get a lot of i feel like what what when i think of like tan's music i think of like this so because i feel like she's done stuff like everything from like 2x to fabulous every single b-side you there's you can find many many songs that sound like this but i'm gonna eat it up every time you know and taylor's also gonna slay every single time she is slay young um so it's like not surprising not shocking at all um it's just what what we do over here you know and again she could release a hundred different songs like this and i'm gonna eat it up i'm gonna eat it up but yeah so i would say the biggest surprise was fabulous you know what i mean um but yeah, I mean, they're all all pretty much my favorite. Fabulous is the only one that is not going to be in the crying playlist. I'll tell you that much. Um, but for sure, All For Nothing really, really got me. And I think, you know, it's, I always talk about top-down listens because I think it's important. Like, um, not, we always, we listen to playlists these days. We listen to Shuffle, especially me. Um, so like, but in, in terms of just like an album, I still think a top-down listen is very, very important to talk about because you're talking about like the work of art that it is. Um, that is Taeyeon. That is this album. Once again, I mean, Taeyeon, really just does it again it just feels like this is her in it's just Taeyeon you know what I mean like I expect nothing less I got what I wanted out of it you know what I mean um so like it's nothing so surprising it's nothing like so different um that I feel like I haven't really heard from before from Taeyeon but again there is something about her no matter how many types of songs she puts out like this because again she is kind of the only artist I feel like that I react to that does this consistently um that it just it, it it always feels so fresh you know every single time well not i want to say like fresh or whatever but it still sounds really really good um every single time no matter how much heartbreak songs she puts out you know what i mean um they they do really always work and it, again if it ain't broke don't fix it and um yeah the 
don't, don't, you know what I mean? A heart broken, but music ain't broken, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, so I mean, the album's really, really great, 2X. Um, yeah, the tone of the album is really, really great. Um, I really liked it. It's, again, and I feel like, I feel like it is a good, a good, like, wintertime release because, um, the seasonal depression will be hitting, um, or has hit already. Um, so you have those songs, but then you also got Fabulous for when you switch back to normal state, you know what I mean? Um... But yeah, I think it's a really good mini album. I feel like if you had to, like, if I had to show somebody Tao's music for the first time and they're like, oh, like, what are your favorite songs? I could just literally hand over this album and be like, this right here. You know what I mean? And I feel like it's very rare to get just, like, a complete project where you're like, this is, oh my god, don't play fancy. Um, a project where you um, can really just get an album and just be like, this is the side of the artist that I like. Um, well, I feel, well, I feel like Fabulous can kind of lean into the more, um, like, weekend, why I type of town, you know what I mean, as well. But, like, if I had to, like, that's really, really amazing to get from an artist because, especially these days, and especially within K-pop, you know, there's always trying to be new stuff done for an artist's sound and sort of revolutionizing and experimenting, and that's definitely here in the album. Um, but for sure, I think it's, it, I feel like if I just... I mean, because I feel like, and also, like, so many artists always experiment um, within their music, especially if they are so, if they've had, like, um, a long career, they've been in the game for a minute, you know what I mean? Um, so to really get something to where I'm just like, this right here, this Taeyeon, this is what I love, here you go, take a listen to it, and this is what I love about her. You know, that I feel like I don't really ever come across albums that sound like that, um, but yeah, but that's, it's really, really interesting to get, and it's really nice to get, um, so yeah, I mean, Miss Tan does what Miss Tan does, Miss Leon, she did it, and she does it once again, and um, it's good to see, like, a writing credit for her, even if it does make me cry um but yeah really love the album overall i think everything's great title track b-sides everything the emotional beats of the album hey um but yeah i think it's a great structure great top down listen all of them are going into their respective playlists because if i put all for nothing on my driving one girl um but <laughs> yeah um really enjoyed it i think it's a fantastic piece of work um fantastic release from uh Taeyeon. um once again, as is everything that she does. So, um, I like how 1111 is one of her top five on Spotify. That makes me happy. Uh, but, I mean, you can see. You can even see what the people like. You can, People, I'm not the only one that loves this side of tan. The people love it as well. Look, at we got INVU. We got Fine. We got 2X. We got um, a OST. I haven't listened to that yet. But then we have 1111. It's what the people like from Taeyeon. You know, I'm not in this on my own. I just speak for the people. Go on and put your thoughts in the comments down below. What you thought about Taeyeon's 2X, the fifth mini album. Your thoughts, comments down below of all the songs. If you like this video, consider a thumbs up if you liked me. And you want to see more of my videos, go and hit that subscribe button. Want to see my videos the second they come out, hit that notification button. Want to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, threads, or description down below. Or at the end screen, if you like gaming content, I have a gaming channel. It's called Erica Just Games. Links in the description down below. Currently playing Horizon Zero Dawn, so if you could join me over there for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs> Gonna